you guys some of the aids that I've made for helping Bethany learn to recognize and remember sight words. We started out with color and animal words. And so this one, as you can see, has the word <laughs> on the board, and then she picks the color to match. She still gets blue, brown, and black mixed up sometimes, but that's what that one looks like. And then this one is the opposite. The words are on the cards. Okay, this is Bethany's animal book that I made. Now, as you can see, it says, I see the bird. And then there's a pocket here. And we have the bird with the word bird on it. And then she has the clue of the picture here. So she can have hints and clues as to what this sentence says. And we've done the same thing with all the animals. Then when she understands these, we go to the more challenging part of the book, which has no hint. And she has to actually understand what she's reading here. I see a bird, and then she picks the bird card. And we have dog, duck, cow, rat, cat, horse, cat, no hints, squirrel, rabbit, and so on, and so on. And then same thing with hints and no hints. This is another color and animal book. I've just written the words for her to trace, and then I have a hint with, I wrote them in black on one side and their own color on the other side, except for white. And then back here, I made some worksheets. She can just draw a line from the word to the correct color. Here, she can um, draw a line from each word to the correct color, or sometimes I use magnets or little tokens. And then we have a little reading book in the back. I also use these three-letter word cards. Okay, what's that one? Green. Mm-hmm. Now what? Pink. Mm-hmm. White. Mm-hmm. What is it? Black. No. It's not black. It doesn't end with K. It ends with N. So it's brown. N. Brown. Good job! You did it! <laughs> and these are some of the books that I've used that have helped me come up with ideas for teaching reading. Um, this one is teaching reading to children with Down syndrome, but I've done research and um, children with Down syndrome and children with autism learn in similar ways. So this has been very helpful. Give, uh, with ideas on games to make for reading and just ideas and then teaching my design. Um, this one is by Kimberly Voss. This one is by Patricia Logan Owine, I think. How do I teach this kid to read? By Kimberly Henry. Teaching literacy skills to young children with autism from phronics to fluency. And then how to set, set up a work area at home for your child with autism. And that's it.